Mr. McAllister. Mr. McAllister. Mr. McAllister, do you understand what I'm telling you? Your visa expires in seven days, at which point it'll be your responsibility to return to the United Kingdom. You know, you can count yourself fortunate here. You'll have time to handle your affairs. And usually, somebody with your track record could be considered a flight risk. But hey, lucky for you, the jails are all full. I do need you to confirm your current contact information, though. Just for security reasons. This isn't my address. No? It's my stepfather's. Morning, Dave. Hey, what's up, man? How we sitting? We're good, we're good. Right. You finish that up. Get that Smith order on the truck, please. Yeah, that's your thing, Bob. Thanks, brother. Johnny! Grab Ted. Give Dave a hand. Brian? What are you doing here? Well, it's nice to see you too, Dad. I'm not your father. So we keep reminding me. So out with it, what do you want? Who says I want anything? That's the only time you ever come around is when you're looking for a handout. Well, I got news for you. Enough. I need to get my stuff. What stuff? stuff, my shit, you know, from home? That's my home. That was your mama's home. You're not welcome there. Brian? Well, I'm glad to see everybody could make it this evening. I uh, hope everybody had a safe weekend. Uh, so who would like to start us off tonight? Keith? Brian? Brian! Okay, then, uh, David! We hadn't heard from David in a while. Alright, um, my name's Dave. Uh, been coming here for about two months. Um, quit smoking dope. Um, you know, at first I really didn't want to be here, but... What you need, boy? Don't need nothing like that, man. Then what you wasting my time for, then? Look, man, I need some cash. What do I look like to you, man? Wells Fargo? Forget it, man. All right, all right, all right. How much you need, man? Five. G's? Hey. 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 Shit. I got you, boy. I appreciate it, man. I'll get you back. Wait. Hello? Zach? Hi, right, what's up? I can't hear you, man. You're breaking up. Alright. What party? Hello? Zach? Zach? Come on. 
Oh, waiting on. Come on. Right, where is it? Where's my money? You saw me hiding it, you thieving bastard! Chill out, man. I didn't steal any money from you. If I did, would I be stupid enough to pass out here? This morning, the 500 block of Webster Drive in Huntsville. The new weapon for the police to jail caught up with the victim. Elizabeth, the emotions are running high. And marks the woman the victim tells us that... Oi! Get out here, you old son of a bitch! Well, come on! I already told you, you're not welcome here. What are you going to do about it? You need to get your ass back in that truck before I call the cops. Go ahead and call them. See if I care. You never were man enough to deal with your own problems. You know, you ruined my life. I was just a kid. I gave you every opportunity to straighten out your life. Bullshit. You took her away from me. And to top that off, you turned her against me, her only son. You did that to yourself, all right? Where were you when she was dying? On her deathbed. Huh? That's right. There you go. Could you just stop and listen? I'm being deported. Yeah, this is the only home I know. I messed up, I messed up. But you never understood. You never tried to understand. I mean, do you know how hard it was for me to be uprooted here and for my mum to replace my dad with the likes of you? I'm not your blood, but I'm hers. And yet you say you loved her. have a new member in our circle tonight. Zach, would you like to start us off? No, uh, no thanks. Well, need I remind you that these meetings fulfill your probationary well, obligations? Don't speak. Okay, Brian, well, tell us about your week. This week? Hell, this week I found out I'm getting deported. Back to Scotland. 
That was a place I don't even know. It's funny, you know. I mean, you don't realize what you have until it's completely taken away from you. I mean, I have no family. No home. Now, my mom died two years ago. Cancer. Your father? Never even met the guy. Well, I got a stepdad. I had a stepdad. Let's just say I didn't make things easy on him. Hell, one night, high as shit, I stole his Corvette. A 63 split window, black as night. Drove it straight into a brick wall. Never forgave me after that. Where's my money, bitch? Man, fuck you, fat man. Did you see that, man? Let's go. Hold up. Zach, what are you doing? Problem solving. Problem solved. I can't take that shit. What's it talking about? I've got your back. Look, I laid that bitch out once already. Let's get out. How'd you, uh... Don't worry about it, it's legit. I'm saving my pennies. On you go. Yeah. It's all yours. You know, I can't accept this, right? Yeah, right. No, seriously, you're gonna have to take it back. Well, ten bucks says take this baby on the test drive. We'll change your mind. Yeah, like after this, you got ten bucks. <laughs> No, your mom would really like this. We should drop by a visitor. Yeah. Besides, I need a ride. Bastards are shipping me off this evening. You got time for a detour? Yeah. Let's go. 